Is your design feeling a bit dull and lifeless? Hey, I'm Fuzzy, and in this video, I'll show you how to give your design a cool distressed effect. Let's get started. First, create a new file with a width and height of 2000 by 2000 pixels and a resolution of 300 dpi. After creating the new file, just add the image to the project. Next, set the position and scale of the image. Now, I'll separate the subject from the image. Go to Select and then choose Subject. It will automatically make a selection around the subject. Next, go to the Rectangular Marquee tool, right-click on the selection, and choose Layer via Copy. It will create a new layer from the selected portion of the current layer. Now we can add text to the design. Hide both images and switch to the Type tool. The font I'm using for the first text is Acura Expanded. Set the font size to 120 pt and the color to white. Adjust the position of the text. What I'm gonna do now is add a little bit of blur to the text. Go to Filter, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. Choose Convert to Smart Object, then set the radius to 10 pixels, then hit OK. Now I'll create the texture file for the distort effect. Add the texture image to the new file. Then save it as a PSD file. You can close the texture file after that. Select the text layer. Go to Filter. Distort, Displace. Set the horizontal and vertical scale to 70, then hit OK. Choose the texture file we made before and click Open. As you can see, the distressed effect is now applied to your text. Now, for the second text, I'll use the Photograph Signature font. Change the color of the text to match what I used. Adjust the font size and position of the text. Hit right click on the text layer, then choose Convert to Smart Object so we can adjust the text again later. Set the position of the text again, make sure it is on the center. Now I will add a little bit of blur into the second text. Go to Filter, Blur. Gaussian Blur. Set the radius down to 5 pixels. Now select both text layers and put them inside a group. Select both layers again and press Ctrl plus Alt plus E or Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus E to merge them into a new layer. Place the merged layer outside the group. Hide the group layer and unhide the image layer. Place the Merge text between the image layer. After that, adjust the position of the Merge text. Here, I'll adjust the size of the second text again. Simply go to the Text layer and double-click on the Smart Object layer. And now you can edit the text or adjust its size and style. I'll make the C a little smaller than before. Press Ctrl plus S to save it. Now back to the design. Use the earlier method to merge the layer. And also adjust the position. Now, Add the image of the planet into the design. Place it on top of the background image. Set the blending mode to screen.
also set the opacity down and also adjust the position. Select all the layers and merge them by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus E or Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E to add the vignette effect. Go to Filter, then Camera Raw Filter. Move down to Vignette Slider and set it to around minus 20. Then hit OK. For the finishing touch, I'll add a little bit of noise to the design. Set the amount to 10 or 11. Then hit OK. And there you have it, a distressed text effect for your design. Thanks again for watching. You can find all the images and fonts I used for this tutorial in the description down below. That's it for today's video. See you soon.